okay, this is fun. I had to record this a second time because I forgot to plug in the microphone the first time. So, as I said the last time, not, not that you would know that because you weren't here. Are you ready to see what we got? Any guesses so far? No one? Bueller? 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 It's my 555 function generator board. Hey, hey, what's happening, guys? Here is version 1.0. Maybe it's not even 1.0. Maybe it's like version 0.5 of my 555 function generator. And the reason that I built this is because everybody needs a function generator, but not everybody can spend, you know, even $40 on a cheap one. You know, some people just can't. So I'm thinking about kidding these and they should be five dollars including shipping in the united states outside of the united states who knows 150 dollars probably but anyway this is it yes i'm wearing a glove because my hand looks terrible and i don't want to gross anybody out comes from that thumb abrasion so what we got here it's a 555 timer a couple driver transistors a whole bunch of capacitors in a whole bunch of resistors making low pass filters and then what we can do is use this jumper and switch from square wave to sawtooth to triangle to sine I haven't tried this yet I saved that for when you were here I know how you are now before we go any further I have been getting so much crap lately. People just correcting me left and right. Yeah, and I, I don't care. Correct me all you want. I make mistakes. But just so you understand, this is not a scripted channel. I decide on a topic, and then I talk about it. For In the video, it comes out to be about 10 minutes. Generally, videos take about an hour to shoot, and then, well, here comes a train. A couple hours to edit. And then with my absolute crap internet, between four and six hours to upload a gigabyte. And that's with AT&T, uh, what do they call it, U-verse, so it's DSL, it's, it's just crap. Anyway, check out the color on these. They're purple, and they're not from Osh Park. In fact, I'll show you where they're from. I'm sure that you've guessed by now these boards are from PCBWay. And yes, they are my sponsor. They pay me to talk about them. But I wouldn't do it if I didn't believe in their products. So anyway, let's talk about them real quick here. Uh, unfortunately, due to the domestic epidemic situation, that would be the coronavirus, if you're you know, living under a rock, they're shut down till February 10th, which is unfortunate. Anyway, the boards... The beautiful purple boards. Now let's do an instant quote here. Pardon me. Single piece length width 50, 50, 5. Scrolling down here, how many colors have we got for solder mask? Solder mask, yes. I said it like you Brits like, with an L in there, not the proper American way. Green, red, yellow, blue, white, black, none. Make green, make black. Poiple, that's nine. That's a little more than half of what I predicted. Silk screen, white, black, none. Get some more silk screen colors. I think everybody would like that. Anyway, PCB Way. I urge you to check them out and compare them with their competitors and decide which one is right for you. In my experience, PCB Way produces quality products at a reasonable price. Five boards in about a week for 22 bucks. Couldn't do that five years ago. Okay, here is our schematic diagram. And I am not going to get into this too much because people just start correcting me and that's just going to anger me. I make mistakes, sorry. If you don't like it, go watch another channel. So we're going to start at the left because if you remember my video on drawing schematics, we want to start at the left with our inputs. So the only thing we're really inputting is power. 
and you can input as much as a 555 timer about eight, 18 volts things behaving badly someone like me I often behave badly okay so then we have our 555 timer, the heart of the circuit. And the timing is made up of these two resistors and this capacitor. Now what I wanted was about 100 kilohertz. I figured that's, that's pretty good. This is uh, going to be a fixed frequency thing for right now. Maybe we'll put variable frequencies in in future versions. So here's an A-state. Why is it doing this? One moment. Echo, stop. Sorry about that. Okay, here is a uh, 555A stable multi vibrator calculator. And you see, I put in 0.47 nano, 1 in 15. That gives us a frequency of 99.039. That's as close as we're going to get. And our duty cycle is 51.61. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, so after the output of our timer, then we go to these four, uh, oh my, links. Each link will link in another uh, low pass filter. I didn't label these. I'll label on the next one. So one should give us a square wave. Two should give us a uh, sawtooth. Three should give us a triangle wave, and four should give us uh, a sine wave. I know. I'm sure there's mistakes in here. That's why it's version one. Leave me alone. Then we have our uh, driver transistors. We have one here, and we also have one here, and that works out very well to drive our signal on whatever the input voltage is through this uh, SMA connector. The other reason I use an SMA connector is because i got a whole bag of them sitting around and I have adapters to make them become whatever I want them to. You use whatever connector you want. And yes, I will make the Gerbers for this available, but you might want to wait until version 2. But hey, that's up to you. I'm, I'll put them out there. Right? Right. Okay. Are you guys ready for the smoke test? I'm ready. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to take you out of the holder here for a minute. There is our input voltage. 7.1 volts. What's the 555 timer go up to, like 18 volts? Anyway, I've had a little bit of a problem. That's where my camera was mounted previously. So, when we go to the uh, oscilloscope... I unfortunately am going to have to switch on, switch off, you know. I apologize in advance, but there's nothing I can do about it until I get a new camera mount. So that's, that's where we're at with that. So, first up, hook up the cable. Now you can see I just put a little SMA to BNC adapter on there. Again, first position should be square, sawtooth, triangle, sign. Assuming I did all my capacitor math right, and this of course will adjust the amplitude. If my capacitor math is wrong, then well, maybe none of it will work. You just never know. Okay, I think we're ready. Uh, square wave. How about if we hook up the power? That will be kind of important. All right, smoke. I don't smell or see anything. Nothing feels terribly warm. Take a look at it. We are up and running. There's our square wave. There's our frequency at 97.1. And what did we calculate it at? Oops. 99.039. So we're a little bit off there, 
but that's not too terrible. All right, I am going to pull out that jumper and we'll stick it over to the next one. Ready? And we go. No? Is it on there? Oh, I missed one. <laughs> and we go. What the? I don't know what's going on. Oh! Something must have been loose. Okay, but here's the thing. That's not a sawtooth. My first order low pass filter should have produced a sawtooth. And it's not. Alright, let me take the uh, jumper off again. And we should have another triangle wave, I think. And again, and we should have a sine wave this time, am I correct? Sine wave. Not a sine wave. Hmm. I'm confused. Okay, well, obviously my low-pass filters aren't working correctly. That's where the problem lies. Does it lie in the design or in the implementation? That's where we'll have to go next. All right, well, as we look here, let's talk about our oscillator. Our oscillator circuit is made up of those two and that guy there. That's wrong. It's 0.047 nanofarad. Oh, was I high when I did this? What the hell is going on? So, okay. Alright, so that's our oscillator side. Now, let's look at... our LPF side. So, coming out of our output through here. There's our first one which is a 104 and that's straight that's our square wave then we have our second one which is 10k and 472 well it was my design you go to a low pass filter calculator I'm only making a low pass filter at 3. 39 kilohertz. Damn it. I don't know how I screwed that up. Well, it's pretty. That's really about all I can say about that. Sorry, guys. I let you down. I will redo the board with the correct, uh, correct values to, uh, to make it work at this frequency. Wow. Can't believe I did that. Anyway, sorry guys enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.